Hi everyone, the next Coolify service that we're going to be self-hosting is called Min.io. Min.io is like having an AWS S3 instance that you're self-hosting yourself. And it's super simple to use. Once we're done self-hosting it, you will get an app, a web app that looks like this. And this is where you will control your buckets and your access keys. And we'll even upload a file. And I'll show you how to search for that file using Postman, how you can make a call directly to that file. So first, let me show you how to self-host it. It's very simple. We're going to go into Coolify, and in the Projects tab, we're going to hit the Add button. We're going to call the project Min.io. Select the production environment, hit Add a new resource, and then we're going to search for Min.io in the search bar above. Select the server where you want to self-host it on. So we are almost done. We're now ready to hit deploy. So let's go ahead and do that. Now our container has started. We can go ahead and close this window and just wait for the service to be healthy. Now that our service is healthy, I'm just going to copy the console URL and we're going to open it in a new tab. So here we go. We have our web app ready for us to use. So the username and password is going to be this one. So you're going to go ahead and copy that. and log in. And so there you go. We are now in the web app for Min.io. The first thing we're going to do is just to add a bucket. We're going to call it tutorial. And now this bucket is private. This means that you can't access it directly if you don't have credentials. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's add an access key. So let's go ahead and create. And right here, we have what will be our access key and secret key. So go ahead and hit create. And right here, just uh, copy this, the secret key, because we're going to use that in a second. And hit download for import, because that's how you will be able to save your credentials so you can use them later. Because you won't be able to access your secret key once we close this. So there you go. We've created an access key and a secret key. So let's go into Postman and try and use it. So now that we are in Postman, let's set up a request to our Min.io instance. So the first thing we're going to do is hit the authorization tab, and then we're going to select AWS signature. And then we're going to paste our secret key that we've copied. And let's go back here and copy the access key, which is this right here, and paste it. And then you want the service name to be S3. And that's pretty much it. The next thing we're going to do is obviously enter in the URL. So let's go ahead and do that. We don't want the console URL though. So let's go back here, copy the S3 API URL, enter that in here. And now we're going to add slash and the bucket name. And in our case is going to be tutorial. Let's do that. So if everything works right now, when I hit send, it should give us a positive response. So let's do that. There we go. We've got a 200 OK, and we've got some data back. This means that our request is valid, and our access key and secret key works. So for example, if I were to remove the three from the access key here and hit send, we would get an error. So now that we know how to build the initial request to a bucket, let's also add a file and make a request to that file so you know how that works. So we'll go back into our console. And in here, we're going to go into the object browser and then select the bucket. And in here, upload whatever file that you have. So in my case, I'm just going to upload this picture. And so now that we have this picture, how do you add this to the request name? So I will show you that now. Click on the picture itself. And this should change the URL. As you can see here on the URL, it has added the string of the name of the image. And so this is what we're going to copy, because this is what we're going to be using to add to our existing URL on Postman. I'm going to add slash 
and then paste in the string of the name of the image and then hit send and there we go we get back the image so that's how you use min.io and use access keys to access the files that you upload you can also disable any access to the bucket by going to the bucket itself in the buckets tab click the bucket and then in here hit this icon the edit icon and then switch private to public that way you can access it without any access keys or anything like that. So my thoughts on Min.io, I think it's a great web app, great replacement for AWS S3 if you wanted to self-host it yourself on your own server. Obviously, I don't think it makes much sense for you to self-host it on a VPS that you're paying for. I think it makes much more sense if you have an old computer or a server, a dedicated server that you have physically in your location and then you self-host Min.io on that. I think that makes more sense because it's much more cost effective in my opinion. And again, this is just my opinion. Everybody has their own needs. So with that, that's going to be it for this video. We have successfully self-hosted Min.io and we've used it to make a request. So with that, I will see you in the next video.